Lewis, how am I supposed to shoot with you trying to kiss me all the time? How am I supposed to shoot quality video? Let me move this for you. With you always in my face, Lewis, always popping up where I'm at. How, Lewis, you can close your door situation, buddy. Hey, you guys, so I thought Lewis would be a perfect example of um, to talk about obstacles in our way when we're trying to move forward with anything, just with life in general. Lewis has a tendency to show up wherever I'm at in the house, right? Lewis is about to knock over the... Lewis, come here. So he especially gets jealous when I'm talking to anyone else. Like when I start a video, Lewis, right? Lewis gets in the way of the video. You guys see it, right? He gets in the, he's like, he's constantly trying to interrupt me from like moving forward. See what I mean? He's, he's blocking me. He's a blockage. So when we don't get rid of our past situations, past, you know, they create a blockage in our future, right, Lewis? Right? So obviously Lewis is here because he needs something from me, right? So he's going to sit. Yeah, he's going to, he was trying to sit right there. See, he's, he's anxiety ridden. You see how he's moving around and he really doesn't have a, um, he really doesn't have a place to settle down at. Lewis, come here. So I'm using Lewis as a metaphor for life. He's actually a really good one too. But, you know, he's about to knock over this computer here if I don't watch him because he's in the way. So that's kind of how our past gets in the way of our future. If we don't clear our past, right? So he's going to plant himself right and he's going to make noise in the background. He's actually it's actually going to make noise. If we don't if we don't get rid of our our past and we don't clean out the muck and mire, Lewis here is is just going to plant his little ass right in front of me. And that's what happens when we don't clear out our past. So I just wanted to uh, to to use Lewis as an example and you could you could see that Lewis felt unsettled he felt a little anxiety ridden. He's like, well, where should I go? What should I do? Because, you know, I don't know if mommy's busy with someone else or if mommy's with, you know? So that's, that's what happens in our own personal relationships when we don't bring closure to them. People get stuck and stagnant. So what I always tell clients that come to me is the only person holding you stuck and stagnant is you. The only person holding you stuck and stagnant is you. So if you've ended something, it's your job to kind of, you know, bring closure. But if you've not ended something, it's your job to take it upon yourself to move forward in your life, whatever that represents to you, and not need closure. Does that make any sense? Yeah, see, Lewis is already calming down. All right, you guys, see ya. Thank <laughs> you.